hello there and welcome back so this west african delicacy jerro fries is what we are having for dinner tonight it's also a shout out to all the grandmas from west africa who helped me raise my kids when they were little thank you so much grandmas you really did a good job to get started i'm getting the chicken broth ready which is going to be used in making the jerro fries And at this point, I'm adding in our spices as listed there for you. Giving it a quick mix. And our chicken looked like it is a little cooked, so I added in some water uh, to make some broth. On this other side, I'm getting ready some red bell peppers, some tomatoes, some red onions and garlic ready. This is to be used in making the jollof sauce. And then I'll transfer them into the oven, which has already been set up onto 450 degrees Fahrenheit. So on this other side, it looked like our chicken brought this lady. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the chicken and set the broth aside. And on this cooking pot, I'm getting ready to fry my chicken. I'm adding in some onions, some rosemary and garlic. That is to add flavor into our chicken. So our bell pepper, the onions, and the garlic are ready. The reason as to why you put it in the uh, oven is because you are making smoked jollof rice. So I'm putting them into my blender. And on this other side, it looked like what chicken is lady. So I'm gonna take it out and put it aside.
and look at that they're looking delicious And then uh, this fried onions, the garlic, and the rosemary, they're gonna add up into the blender. And this will help us into building on into our flavor. And then I added in some fresh ginger and blended it into a puree. So using the same pot to use for making the chicken broth, I'm adding in some cooking oil, then added some onions, fried it a little bit, and we are using the same oil we use for frying our chicken, this is because you are building on into our flavor. Then I went ahead and added in some tomato paste. And as you can see, it is very easy to use your tomato paste this way when you have opened both ends of the tomato can because the tomato paste will just slide out. And at this point, I'm adding in our giraffe sauce. Give it a quick mix. I then went ahead and added the spices as listed. And then it is time for us to add our rice. Give it a quick mix. And then this chicken broth is going into our cooking pot. Give it a quick mix. And then added in a little water to just loosen the sauce a little bit because it was a little thick. Cover it up with aluminum foil and this will help us to trap the heat inside. And as you can see, giraffe rice does not need a lot of liquid because mostly it cooks by steaming. Give it a quick mix. Check our spices to make sure everything is okay. And at this point, I want to request you to subscribe to my channel, hit up the notification bell, so you're notified every time I upload a new video.
And for the giraffe rice, you have to keep turning it to make sure that everything is evenly cooked. And as we continue to cook, I want to appreciate you all for watching my videos. Thank you for all my followers, my subscribers, and everybody that watches my videos. Thank you for your likes and your comments and for sharing my videos. I really do appreciate you. And as you can see, our giraffe rice is looking very nice. I went ahead and added in some butter. Let it melt for a little bit. Then I added in some green bell peppers, some tomatoes and some red onions. Give it a quick mix. And at this point, I think our giraffe rice is ready. And we are not forgetting our chicken. And this can go with any vegetable of your choice. And until we meet in the next video, may the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you, may He watch over you, and may He give you peace. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.